Edwin Jackson against Kevin Millwood isn't your classic pitcher's duel, but they each took their sub-3 ERAs to the hill in Detroit on Thursday afternoon. Game time temperature in Motown was 79 degrees and sunny, which was a good thing since these two right-handers spent a whole lot of time on the mound. And there is Edwin Jackson. Last two games, one earned, 13 Ks, 14 innings of work. But in the top of the first inning, the second batter of the game is David Murphy, who lifts his second home run of the season. Texas up 1-0. Kevin Millwood, a 2-3-3 ERA and four career starts at Comerica Park. Bottom of the first inning with two outs, the first pitch that Cleet Thomas sees. I am not a bun salesman. His first home run of the season, it ties the ball game up at one. Bottom three, one on, one out for Curtis Granderson. His 11th of the season, half of last year's total already. Tigers up 3-1. Top four, Chris Davis goes down swinging at the curveball. Same thing, top five with Jared Saltzlamakia. Ejack had seven Ks in the ball game. Bottom six now with Miguel Cabrera at the plate. He'll lift this one towards the right side into foul territory. Three Rangers converge, and Ian Kinsler, where is it, where is it, I got it. As he falls down on the turf, he makes the grab. The lead was still 3-1. After a leadoff walk, Jim Leland comes out to talk to Edwin Jackson, decides to leave him in. Two outs in the eighth, and Nelson Cruz makes some pay. A 98-mile-an-hour fastball in the eighth inning from Jackson. It plates two for the Rangers, and it's a 3-3 ball game. Bottom eight, Miguel Cabrera gets it right back. Good time for him to pick up his first hit of the ball game and only hit. Millwood also went eight, as did Jackson. It's a 4-3 Detroit lead. And then Fernando Rodney gets Michael Young to end the ball game on a 4-6-3 double play. Tigers win 4-3. They've now won 11 straight at home over the Rangers, 6-0 overall this year against Texas. Edwin Jackson threw 132 pitches. Kevin Millwood threw 121 pitches in the loss.